Hey guys, so what I'm doing is I am, for the rest of the year probably, I'm gonna go back to a lot of the old spots at Camp Mead that are left and detect them to see what kind of goodies I could find. Uh, so far, I found some bullets, a button, uh, and this is pretty heavily pounded, especially where I'm at now. Um, I found a lot of stuff in here. So I'm, I'm trying to hit this today. Hopefully I have some good finds for you. Uh, get back to you onward and upwards. Thank you guys. So treat the worst of times just like a test. All right, gang. So first, uh, real good find of the day, I hope. I, I hope it's not modern. Um, I don't think it is. But um, let's check it out together. It rang in at a 25, 27. It was bouncy. Looks like silver to me. How about you guys? Like a rosy. Wow, look how encrusted that is. It's craziness. Wonder what year. Oh, I lost it. There it is. All right, let's see. Let's see. Yep, that's silver. Nice. This is the second Rosie I found here in all these years. And this is a 61. Nice. I'll take it. I'm in a really choppy part of the field. Sorry about that. And all in here is just all kinds of crazy signals and a lot of tin from a roof so i just what i do is every time i come here i i take a little bit further into there and then i go out into where i know the camp was so obviously it's not from the camp it's from the people that used to live here the farmer and now it belongs to dustin get back to you Hey guys, all right. So, if you can see where that little worm is squirreling, we got a, sh a shell uh, casing from a 3040 Krieg or Craig. I don't know how it's pronounced, but this is from Camp Mead. Soldiers were shooting these off left and right. And 125th year anniversary. Yeah, there's no. Some of them had stamped. Were stamped on the back. Um, but uh, 125th year anniversary of the camp, and I'm still finding shell casings from there, which is pretty amazing. So, yeah, yeah, Civil War is great. I don't, I just don't have the ability to, or know anyone to get me on Civil War. So, uh, I got Camp Mead. <laughs> get back to you. Nice little find. All right, gang. So I don't know if you can see it right there. I don't know what it is. I really don't. But I saw it was green and I stopped when I was uh, pinpointing it. Could be a roofing nail. But I just saw the green. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, too. It's a daggone roofing nail. That patina is just, didn't that look like a button from that angle? And you turn it over and it's a wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Get back to you. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Alright, gang, so in between all of that yip yapping, um, let's take you down into the hole. So right there. This was a bouncy uh like a 14 to a 17 or 18. It's a button, okay? I don't wanna, I don't wanna monkey with it too much. This isn't a, I mean, you can see the gilt on it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give it a rub-a-dub. And I know there was some PA National Guard on this field. So let me rub-a-dub it. I think it's a National Guard and that there should be an NG underneath this line here. There should be two horses here for the PA State Seal. Let me get right back to you.